Hey, this will be a video chart on SAVW. Had a few people asking about this one today, and it has been making a nice little bounce the uh, past few days. Uh, today, clearly some profit takers did hit it, uh, but it held the support levels that you'd want to see it hold. Uh, so that's kind of what I want to focus this video around are those support levels that going forward we want to continue to see the bulls hold because that'll show that uh, you know this current upwards move that we have right here is you know genuinely strong and does have some um, you know significant and uh, you know kind of legit strength behind it so the first level that I want to point out is right here and I'll change this to green to represent this being an area of support and what I'm trying to show here is if we go back and look just through the past history of the chart you can see multiple times you know the price has gotten if not hit this area it's gotten very close uh, here's where it just hovered right around it um, so this area right here at 0 0.0018 is going to be what we'll call the ideal level of support that we want to see hold you can see that today actually uh, the price came what was the low the low of today was 0 0.0018 so sure enough the price came down here and bounced right off of it and ideally that's what we want to see continue to happen now if it doesn't hold then you know that's not the end of the world uh, but in order for the chart to really look the strongest and look the best um, for people that are, you know, doing their scans and so forth, um, if this level here can hold, you know, that'll be very bullish because it was a, a key level of support turned into a resistance here. And now that the price is back above it, it has gone back over to being a support level. So as long as, you know, this continues to hold, then that's going to make the chart look very strong. The other area of support is going to be uh, down here where these other highs were, which is. Uh, looking to be right here at the 0 0.0015 level. So we'll change, this to, change these to green too. And if we wanted, we could call this a support zone and just um, you know call this whole area here. Uh, but ideally, these are the levels we want to see hold because if we think about it, if it comes down here, bounces around before going back up, obviously this set of lows would be higher than this set. When we connect the sets of lows, that would give us the ability to draw this uptrend line, and that's what we're trying to do here. And worst case, you know, then uh, this support down here at uh, 0.001 has to hold because if we, you know, scrunch up the chart, you can see that there are not any other supports below it. So it would just be going all the way down into triple zeros, and that's never an area where you want to go. Um, so if the price were to fall down there, uh, you know, what we would then be hoping for at that point is some sort of double bottom formation. But ideally, like I said, we want these levels to hold here. In terms of resistance levels, we have this purple line here, which is a 50-day set moving average. That's playing the role of resistance. Did break above it intraday today, but because we're looking at the daily chart, we hear about where the close is. So this will be right now um, the key level that we want to see the price get some closes above. Right now that's valued at 0 0.0024. So if there are any other questions on the chart, uh, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get charts set up, straight ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. It is all free. We've been making some good money together on our alerts. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was SAVW. Thanks for listening.